Hey guys, it's uh, Leif here from uh, ATEC Office Technology. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how to uh, save and prepare a image to store as the uh, boot up screen uh, on the Konica Minolta MFD. So there's a couple of pieces of software that you're going to need to do this. And um, you can see here, this is on my, uh, I've got these files here stored on my uh, USB removable disk and um, I've got a KM boot screen or test image. I'm just going to double click on that to show you. It's just a basic one with my logo, with our company logo on it and we're going to put that as a boot up screen on the Konica Minolta MFD. So a couple of things we need here. I've got something called Picture Bear or if you have any kind of uh, image processing uh, software. Uh, I'm just going to show you what that is. Just one that I'm, I've got hold of, picture bear, and uh, it looks like this. Just a very basic uh, software that we can use to to save our image or make any adjustments that we'd like and save it as a uh, JPEG, as a sorry, as a PNG. So that's it. There, I've got my file there. I've just called it uh, ATEC boot screen PNG. The next thing we need to do is to run that file and oh, I forgot to say that the uh, the size of this file has to be very specifically 800 pixels by 480 pixels. So that that's the size of the image. Uh, you can see that, just confirm that over here, 800 by 480 pixels. Very important because the next step we're going to do is to convert that into a uh, digital file and I've got another piece of software to do that. I'll put a link to this uh, under the video so you can have a look at those but the boot screen converter. So I'm going to fire that up. Very basic, very simple. Uh, I'm going to go plus and the plus image here uh, I'm going to browse where my file is, so it's in my removable disk KM boot screen and I'm just going to pick this file here and I'm just going to show you, uh, it gives us a preview here and I'll show you in the background what's happening when I uh, when I convert this, so I'll hit the green arrow and uh, we just wait for that, well that's pretty much done, it doesn't actually give me a confirmation on the screen here but if I close this now, you can see in the background here, I had my ATEC boot screen PNG file. And after converting it now, I got this one here. So that's a new file created in the same folder as uh, the PNG file. Uh, it's created a new file with the same name and then added underscore boot up screen dot din. So, uh, that's our bin file that we're going to use in the for this exercise and I'm going to go and rename this and I'm going to get rid of all this at the front so we now have a file called bootupscreen.bin uh, just like that and I'm going to I've already done this here but you can see the next step would be to go into your folder copy this boot up screen bin file go back to the root folder of your USB or put in a new USB if you like and save this file in there so you can see now I'm on the removable disk and I've already got one here called boot up screen dot bin I've already copied it in there uh, from before so now when we've prepared the boot up screen dot bin file we're now ready for the next step, which is basically go to the MFD, plug the USB uh, stick in, and uh, upload it. And when I hit the power button, uh, you'll see it's this image here that is just showing there very briefly as it boots up. Uh, we can actually input our own image uh, into this area. And um, the way we do that, we'll go into service mode and um, uh, to to save that uh, image and what I've got um, there's a the step one to this to this is actually to prepare um, 
uh, your image first and store it on a USB memory stick. So I've, I've already done that and I'll put that in a separate uh, a video how to prepare it but I'm for this exercise I'm just assuming that we've already prepared the image and it's stored on this USB so I'm just going to plug that into the side here before we start so I just plug that in there and the image is stored on the uh, uh, in the root folder of the USB I'm now going to go into uh, into uh, service mode so I'll go into counter and put in my uh, service password you need to uh, ask your provider about this okay and in okay we're now going into service mode and we're going to click on system 2 here and we're going to go a page across to the second page and we've got an option in here called boot up screen so if I click on there, you can see a couple of options we've got there. Uh, this, uh, this option here called set, that's to save our new image and that'll come up only if you already have a USB with the image uh, inserted. So basically when that shows up, you know you've got, it, got the image there. And I'm just gonna hit that one there to update the image now. Click on the set and we hit start and then we just got like a little hourglass there uh, working away and it only takes a few seconds depending on how big the image is but you can see we got an okay there and that means we've now set that just one note on this if i wanted to if i didn't like this boot up image that i've created i could always hit the delete button over here and that'll delete the image but now i've just updated the boot screen with my new image I'm going to hit the end button there and I'm going to hit the exit button over there to move out or log out and uh, I can now unplug my USB and uh, we can now test the boot screen simply by if I hit the power button it'll, it'll go out to the boot screen uh, for a couple of seconds and you can see yeah very quick now but that was uh, the boot screen if I hit the power again, it'll power up. So you could have your company logo or a photo or a phone number or whatever you think is uh, suitable as that uh, boot screen. So uh, that's about it. That's how we uh, modify the boot screen. And by the way, this works on uh, the whole range of Konica Minolta MFDs, uh, uh, regardless of the model. It's the same procedure.